Hello, in this video we're going to look at price elasticity of demand using a graph-based problem. So you might have a question like this where you're presented a graph that has either one or two demand curves on it and you're told to calculate the price elasticity of demand at some point along one or both of those demand curves. So in this example we want to calculate the price elasticity of demand at point A and point B. Step one, we want to find the equation for each demand curve. So the general equation for a linear curve looks something like this. Uh, P is our y variable. Then we're going to take our vertical intercept and then we're going to add the slope of that line to it and multiply it by our horizontal uh, variable that is measured on the horizontal axis. So for demand curve one, the vertical intercept is six. The slope is given by rise over run, so what I like to do is just take the vertical intercept and divide it by the horizontal intercept, so 6 divided by 12. And since this is a downward sloping line, it's minus 6 divided by 12. And that will just simplify to the following. So demand 1, the demand curve uh, given by demand 1 is P equals 6 minus 1 half Q subscript 1. And likewise, the demand curve, the equation for the demand curve um, for demand 2 here, vertical intercept 10, still a slope of 1 half. So we get something like that. Step 2 is we're going to solve each equation for Q. So multiplying everything through by 2 for both of these equations and then just moving some things around. And we get the following forms here. And finally, we're going to calculate the price elasticity of demand, uh, recognizing that the price elasticity of demand is the derivative of the demand equation with respect to price. All we're going to do from that derivative is we're going to be pulling out this minus 2 in front of the P. So that's where this minus 2 is coming from. It's just whatever's in front of the price term. And then we're going to multiply it by the ratio of price to quantity. And for point A, the price is $4 and the quantity is 4. So plugging those values into this equation, we see that at point A, the price elasticity of demand is minus 2. And doing a similar thing for the second demand, but this time using slightly different prices and quantities at point B, the price is $8 and the quantity is 4. So the price elasticity of demand at point B is minus 4. And that's how you solve a price elasticity of demand problem starting with a graph. Hope you found this video helpful.